Now what will it be? Death or exile? the nerd circuit from the film Exiles. I'm coming to you with an extended review on Rambo Last Blood. Basically, I felt that this movie was a love letter to all the old Rambo fans. It had a little bit of everything for everyone who loved the old movies. Basic overview of the story is that John Rambo, once he comes back from the previous movie, he comes back to his his father's farm and he takes it over and he raises horses. He's being helped by uh, one of his friends, Maria, and her granddaughter, Gabriella. It's an interesting relationship that John has with uh, Gabriella. I mean, she calls him Uncle John, and he he kind of looks at her as a daughter, you know. And the thing the thing is, it's it's a very complicated relationship they got. Essentially, what's happened here is uh, Gabriella's. Uh, kind of estranged from her father and it's it's weighing hard on her so the basic synopsis of how this is going is that Gabriella is looking for her father and something goes wrong and she's kidnapped by the cartel now I'm not gonna go into any more details because I don't want to uh, go into spoilers one of the great things about this particular movie, it definitely follows the Rambo formula. If you watch any Rambo movies, you know what I'm talking about. I, I thought this movie was pretty well paced. It sets up the mood, you know, like there are certain periods of time when things are calm. You know, it's kind of slow and moving. But then things, when things get really action-packed, you can really definitely feel the, the adrenaline in the, in the scenes. That is not to say that there's not enough time to kind of catch a breath and kind of reflect what happened. Uh, there, there are plenty of scenes, right? You know, like right after the action pack scenes, where it gives you a chance to breathe. You know, as far as the acting goes, I, I thought everyone was pretty well cast. You know, everyone did a really good job in this film, and I felt that everyone was very believable. You know, Stallone is at his best. The actresses who played uh, Maria and Gabriella did a very great job in this film. Even the villains are great; they were very believable as being villains they they were just sinister and evil now for the action scenes <laughs> what can i say the choreography was excellent the gunfights were great uh the pyrotechnics and the and the explosions were great i think most of this movie was practical effects but i think there were a couple scenes that used cg for like the larger scale things i'm not going to go more into it but uh you might see it like uh where i did but I thought it was a great visual spectacle. Uh, I definitely liked the, you know, like uh, the darker lighting that they used when the film when they were filming. It, it definitely set the mood and, and, and it gave a foreboding feeling about it. I thought the editing was great. You know, I I didn't really see any editing errors anywhere. Overall, I thought it was pretty well paced. Every, everything just works. So my overall feelings for this movie. Well, I really loved it. I, I really genuinely thought it was great. I highly recommend it. If you're fans of old 80s or 90s films, you're going to love it. If you love Rambo, you're going to love it. Yeah, if you like gunfights, if you're going to like it. Uh, so, in closing, go see it. Do yourself a favor. Just go see it. It's a no-brainer. Anyways, this is the Nerdzerker signing out for the Film Exiles. Until next time.